The bunting and the flags are out all across the country this weekend for the Queen's Jubilee. But in Orkin Lek, it's for a totally different reason. Macy. So she's a huge Orkin Lake fan, right? That's my wee lassie. That's, that's your... That's me, Dylan. That's her the suit and tie. Yep. No, that's me, sorry. That's Dylan. That's my other Oh, son. yeah, I remember Dylan pointing that out to me the last yeah, time I was here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my other daughter. Oh, amazing. So the whole Smith family's there. That's it. Bye -bye. And obviously, um, so Junior Cup final day today. Yep. Just explain how big... Oh, you call it Cup final day here, don't yeah. you? Just showing how big it is, I suppose. Oh, it's massive. It's yeah. Days. It's, it, we was many good days for this, this Cup day before. Yep. I'm going to make it continue. Of course, it's yeah. Great. And it's um, obviously biggest sort of non-league cup that there is yeah. here in Scotland, isn't it? So yeah. it means a lot to the village. You've won it 13 times, yeah. a record 13 times, going for 14 today. You know, hopefully. Yeah, and you've got the shirt on there. It's oh, Yoka yeah. and it's held at Rugby Park, Rugby which is Park, yeah. Kilmarnock Stadium. Yeah. Hi, I'm Campbell, Campbell Peden. I'm the ground uh, safety officer and also double up as the uh, wellbeing protection officer and uh, basically anything else I'm to do, I'll do that, eh? And so firstly, before we get into um, sort of the banner behind you, and we'll speak about that a little bit as well, it's my first Junior Cup final today. What should I expect from the day? Uh, you should expect a lot of noise, a lot of atmosphere, a lot of happy kids, hopefully, and uh, just a good, fun atmosphere. Amazing, I can't wait for it. Oh, it'll be good. Like I say, good bit of atmosphere, trophy day. Could you just explain what the banner is behind you as well? Yeah, uh, this is a show this is from the red card in uh, Euros in Scotland. Uh, we uh, the sponsor uh, a lot of stuff that goes on here within the club and within the junior. Not so much the club, but what we do outside it with the uh, education programmes and stuff like that. Players come and talk to the kids, do that. We get guys for the show races on the red card down. Yep. They do ex, ex pros come down and what we do. We bit of stuff in that and just basically getting a, a message out there about equality and inclusion and stuff like that. As I say, the club bought into it oh, many years ago. This much we about 15 years we've been doing it now with show races on the red card and uh, unison. So spot on. So that's a rosette from. What year did you say that was from? 1985, and the scarf is from? 87. 87. So Tolbert have won the Junior Cup 13 times. How many of the finals have you been to yourself? Seven. The club is so linked with this trophy, aren't they? It kind of is yeah, within the fabric of the club, it's right? It's synonymous with the club. It's, yeah. it's been, teams, you want to win the league, but the, the Junior Cup's that. That wee next, yep. that wee next step. It's the golden, of course. It's, it's the golden uh, year. Absolutely, the golden yeah. Year. Here he is, yeah, lad. <laughs> it's yeah, and it's a day out at Rugby Park as well, which is of course, well, for next season it'll be a Premiership Stadium again. So it's a chance for Talbot to play it. You know, a huge. It's, it's playing on the big stage. Yeah, it's on the television as well. Yeah, and there is a massive audience because of the history of the club. It's. It's something that's it's, 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 it's built into this club. Yeah. The love and the, the admiration for the trophy. So that's the first time Talbot won it. And so that's the actual match ball from the yep. 49 Scottish Junior Cup final. Was that when it used to be played at Hamden Park? Yeah. And who was that against then? Uh, Peter's Hill. Peter's Hill. Program. Oh, of course. Yeah, look at that. The old programme. Is that one of the old teams as well? Same squad for them. That one. There's another Junior Cup final there, uh, 1986, the centenary year of it. Yeah. You won that as well. And you've got the Scottish Junior Cups for the players. Oh, yeah, yeah. And that's a team line from the, the final. And yeah, as you can see there, it says Hamden right, Park. Right. Yeah, mate, how are you? Right. There it says Hamden Park, so it used to be played at Hamden, of course. And then is this one of the old yeah, Junior Trophies? Yeah, one of the... One of the, that's not the actual junior 
How big does it feel to have Junior Cup final day here, especially after the last couple of years with COVID and they've both been like cancelled, right? It, it's always massive. Uh, anytime we get to the, the Junior Cup final, uh, we've obviously, be, you're talking about COVID, the last two previous Cup finals we've won as well. So we're looking to, to try and get another one, try and get uh, three in a row if possible. Uh, but we're not under the illusions how, how tough it's going to be the day, but yep. we're just looking forward to it. It's a great day for it. The weather's perfect. It, it couldn't be more set up for a, for a cup final, yep. so I really look forward to it. And so for you as a player, obviously, how many times have you played in the final and how many times have you won it here? I've played, this will be my fifth final here. Uh, played three, uh, played uh, one three, uh, lost one. Yep. So this will be my fifth and hopefully hopefully another one to yep. the collection. So a pretty good record, of course. It is, uh, it's not the best, to be honest. There's boys in there that have won five and six. Wow, and okay. I uh, think, think uh, Stephen White, this would, if he wins today, this will be his seventh. Amazing, so wow. Unbelievable, crazy. yeah. And, and he maybe played in eight or nine finals. So over a period of time here, played in that amount of finals, just says, says it all about the club, yeah. but they're always there up, up challenging for trophies. For sure. And um, again, for yourself and for the rest of the lads, and maybe for some of the younger players in the squad as well, who have maybe only just played at this level, yeah. how good is it for them, and of course for yourself, to play at Rugby Park today, I Premiership know, Stadium? It's, it's a good experience. Uh, to go and play. Hopefully it's a, it's a good crowd. I'm sure it will be. It's a, it's a great day for it. So uh, I know our fans are coming in their numbers. I'm sure your uh, supporters will come in in their numbers as well, and there'll be some neutral. So it's perfect, uh, perfect day for it. Uh, as far as a, a young boy, obviously you want to aim aim a lot higher, but if, if you're at this level, you don't really get much better than the, the Junior Cup final, so it'll be a good experience for, for the young uh, boys that's in the team as well. It just feels like yesterday, I, I, I won my, my first one when I was 19, and now I'm 26, so t time time flies in when you think about it, I can remember that final, uh, like yesterday it was yep. at Rugby Park as well, so nice. it'll be a good experience, and if, if they play, they just... We just need to go and enjoy it. And, Perfect. And you can only enjoy it by winning, I suppose. Absolutely, mate. Well, best of luck. Thank you. Right, and look, we're in this stand now, and this is the incredible stand that I was in for the Hearts and the Hamilton Games. When the goal went in here, there must have honestly been hundreds of people just in this like small space here and thousands at the game itself. Look, the uh, Tolbert squad just over there. You would just saw me uh, chatting to Mark Shankland as well. One of the players here, one of the most experienced players that they have, who's won a few Junior Cups himself. But look, as you can see above this ATFC Tolbert badge here, XIII 13. That is, that means they have won 13 of the Scottish Junior Cups. They don't even call it the Scottish Junior Cup here, they just call it the Scottish Cup. That's how highly they think of this competition. And maybe after today, they'll add a 14th. So good luck to the Talbot. Junior Cup final day today. Yep. Just how big does it feel as a Tolbert fan to have this cup final day at Rugby Park? Mm -hmm. It's just really big for us. Like, it's been like, if we win this today, it's been three in a row. Yeah, three in a row, because two were cancelled because of COVID, but you won the previous two in 2018 2019. Oh, yeah, yeah. So it'll be three in a row today. Score yeah. prediction, what are you thinking? I think it'll be 2 0. No. You're confident, 2 0. No. 2 1. Jaden. Jamie. Lovely to meet you both. Big game today, cup final. What are you thinking score wise? Uh, 2 0 no to Tolbert. Uh, two and one. Seems like the whole village is out today, doesn't it? <laughs> what does like cup final day sort of feel like in Orkin Lake? Feels like a full on like, celebration, like. Right, okay, yeah. And the whole town comes together. Yeah, yeah. Even though it's Jubilee weekend, everyone's forgotten about that. No one really cares about that. So I'll start over here and I'll go for a score prediction off of everyone, okay? What do you reckon? 3 4 0. 2 0. 5 0, he's saying. Not sure, but a Tolbert win. 3 0. 2 0. 2 1, lad. 3 1. All confident, all confident. 3 1. 2 0. And how has the season gone for Tolbert? Of course, he won the, was it the South Challenge Cup recently as well? Junior Cup final today. What are you thinking? I think we won. Say 3-1. You're confident 3-1? 4-1. 5-9. 5-0. That's what you said, or someone said 5-0 no. earlier. 5-0, no, 3-4. 3-4. No, Perfect, enjoy. Five, no. Thank, Thank you. you. There he is, Cameron. Cameron, big shout out to Cameron. Huge Tolbert fan, you're his dad. Yep. And uh, score prediction for today, what are you thinking? 3-0. Three, no. It's obviously massive today, isn't it? It feels big here already. The final's not even here in Orkin Lake, it's in Kilmarnock, which we'll be heading to later. Uh -huh. But the atmosphere is already incredible. 
Yeah. yeah. Probably Is the whole village out today? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> and this could be, if you win it, your 14th Junior Cup. Yeah. Score prediction, are you confident? 3-1. Um, 3-1 and 2-0. Nice. Enjoy. Here we go. So the final isn't actually at or Connect Talbot's ground. I've been here all day, of course, as the players are uh, just turning up here. I'm actually going on the team bus to Rugby Park. So it's going to be a real cool experience. Um, we're going to get a bit of a send off here. Uh, thanks for uh, thanks for the invite today, mate. It's going to be good. Let's do it. Yeah, there's my stuff. Scottish Cup and books. Mate, I'm coming on the team bus. Look at this. <laughs> yeah, how are you? We're approaching Rugby Park now. This is going to be really fun. We're going to step off the team bus. Um, I think before the players and then see the players coming off as well. But look, currently uh, going through the streets of Kilmarnock. I usually walk up this road. I usually park all the way down there for Killy games. But here on the uh, Talbot team bus today, the team all the way behind me, manager, committee members, media team, all that kind of stuff. Exciting times. Here we go. Here we go, so approaching uh, Rugby Park now. I was just thinking the amount of times at Talbot have obviously won cup finals here down the years. It's just a, such a fruitful venue for a, a lot of us. Yeah. It's a uh, plastic patch, which divides yeah. opinion, but yeah, play whatever we get. Exactly, mate. Cup final. There we are. Give me a little flag. Oh, there we go. It's lovely to be here with my boy for his first Scottish Cup final game. Yeah. And I hope all that Talbot won. Do you think Talbot are going to win? Is Talbot going to win? Yes. We have a flag. Hey, there we go. You're saying 2-1. Two, 2-1. One. Two, one. What do you reckon? 3-0 to Talbot. Nil. Three, one, and 3-1. And, one. and you were telling me that there's somebody in the Amazon. Yeah, there's a, 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 an Auckland Talbot fan who actually is in the Amazon at the moment and he's watching the game on a tablet. This is a world to us. Oh, yeah. Sam, this is, is Talbot. Me. I'm from Glasgow. I'm this is not, Talbot. This is like a Rangers and Celtic match to me. Yeah, this is big. I'm, Would you rather Talbot win the cup today or Rangers win the league next season? For my boy, for my boy, since he's from Orton Lake, Talbot the There we go. So you're a ball boy today. How does it feel to be ball boy here at Rugby Park? Excellent. Pretty good. What's the score going to be? 
Yeah. Morris, yeah. big day today, isn't it? It looks like yeah. the whole village is out. I know. What does it mean to the people of Orkin Lake? It means, well, they were everyone Yeah. So it means that it means the world too. And what do you think the score will be today then? My name's Aidan, uh, I'm the Talbot Media Officer, Talbot TV kind of media guy. Yeah, and how great is the atmosphere here today? Look how many people from Ork and Lek have come out for the final. It's just absolutely fantastic, that's what this club's all about, it's about people, and, yeah. you know, it's not all barcodes, it's uh, people. And this is the first Junior Cup final since Covid, so it's cancelled for two years, and Talbot won the last two before that, so this is a chance for three in a row. You know, fingers crossed, um, just staying there, uh, off the block to Sam, you know, uh, we treat every opponent the same, and that's with sincerity and respect, so yeah. um, fingers crossed it will hopefully be number 14 today, but it's football, so you never know. And just from like a fan's perspective as well, of course, there hasn't been a Junior Cup final for two years, but now there is. How does it, what does it mean to the people to have their day out at Rugby Park? It's just, um, I, I shall be aware, we've uh, won it a few times, so people get used to um, the day and build it up. Yeah. And, um, aye, it's just wonderful for every supporter. Right, so currently just waiting for the players to come out. I'm going to film the reaction of the fans as they come out. But look at this, all the Tolbert fans over here, the Yoka fans over there. I feel a bit bad for Yoka, I barely mentioned them, but they are the second team in obviously today's final along with Auckland. They've been invited down by, of course, uh, the Auckland Lake guys today. Here come the players. Enjoy my man, enjoy. Of course mate, of course. But how does it feel to have all these fans here today at Rugby Park? Good. Mate, how mad is this? I love you, mate. Oh, thank you, mate. How good is this to have all Madness. the people walking like here? Mental, Madness. isn't it? What do you reckon? 3-0. 3 nil, he reckons. What do you think? See the thing. Yoko's hungry. Yoko's hungry. Yoko won it. Yeah. Yoko's won it. Yeah. They've won it 13 times, yeah. This is the first time in like 50 years for Yoko. Yeah. Time here, and they'll know what to see in the second half. How are you, mate? You okay? Good, are you? How are you, lad? Yeah, very well. Very I've been well. waiting to meet you for fucking ages. Oh, mate, you're a legend, man. What have you thought of the game so far? It's been a good game, quite scrappy. I feel like the atmosphere. 
atmosphere's been better than the actual football, though. Yeah, it's good, man. Let's hope for a few goals in the second half here. Yeah. How many starts? That's what we give me for the glitch. One, two, three, four. You'll have to add another. You'll have to add another one. How's it going, lads? How's the game been so far? You wish Talbot had scored by now. Do you still think they will? Three one. There's not much long left, though. I'm gonna say one nil to Talbot. I think you might be right. Yes, last score. What do you reckon? One nil. Four five on penalties. Oh, that's very specific. I'm gonna watch this penalty on YouTube. I'm not joking. What should everybody do? Yeah. Right, a shout out to Billy, one of the uh, security guys, one of the stewards here um, at the game today. Uh, he's an all-collect Talbot fan, so he wanted a shout out, so shout out to him there, number 185, Billy. But yeah, look at that being up in there with the Talbot fans earlier on, and look at them now. This is absolutely brilliant. Look at this. Hit side at a final like this. I think it was my last, like, uh, my last game of the season, club game of the season. But look at that, the Talbot fans, absolutely incredible as usual. For people who know me, it's amazing for me to be on the pitch at full time of a cup final at Kilmarnock. But it's all about these guys and these guys here today. Look at this historic 14th Junior Cup win for Auchinleck Tolbert. No one's even close. They're the Real Madrid of Scottish junior football, Scottish non league football essentially.
Look at that, the calm after the storm. We're going to be getting the team bus back, so we'll see a bit of the atmosphere in Auckland like a little bit later on. Um, God, the party's going to go on for a long time. You're driving us home? No? God, just look how big Junior Cup final day is. Look at this. All throughout these villages, look. Well done, boys. Our window. Alright, Matt. Alright, yeah, boys. How are you? <laughs> Crazy, isn't it? Look at this! This is mad for like a non league trophy. This is actually mad, like support, isn't it? in the stadium now as well. Park with the trophy, the 14th in their history.
what that is? Shanklin's niece. Oh, that's oh, Shanklin's niece. Oh. I've done an interview with him there. Can I interview her? What do you aye, think? Aye. Do you think Talbot will win the league next year? Yes! <laughs> I think she's saying yeah. Aye. Well, I met my partner seven years ago and this isn't right for a football game. This is total, total different. And you're telling me you're from Glasgow? I'm originally from Glasgow. Yep. All my days. And, and your partner's from Auckland. My right? partner, who I met seven years ago in August, is from Auckland. Yep. And I've never ever went to any of the cup finals except from today. And that was nuts. That was nuts. That's what's changed me, a Talbot fan. Yep. That's what's changed me. A Talbot boy. <laughs> He's Auckland through and through now. Yes. You can't. Yes. It'll be. Look, Amber I've got Amber Amber signatures all over my flag, yeah, all over my T-shirt. Yeah, there and there. Yeah. Is that all the players? Yeah. Yes. Nice. Yes. Amazing. Totally well, I'm glad you had a great day, mate. Totally honestly. Definitely. Explain the feeling winning the cup. Uh, uh, Were you walking through the village earlier on? Aye. Aye. Yeah, and confident that you can retain it next year, go up maybe to the Lola League. This is Logan, and you say Logan's been to two cup finals and won them both in the space of a few weeks. Uh, yep, three weeks old. Oh, so it's Bonnie Rig and now Yoka. Oh, well not Logan, little good luck charm. so. He can never miss a final ever again. He can never miss a game. Right, I've slipped away from... Uh, from the stadium and the social club there. If I'd have tried to say goodbye to everybody, I would have been there forever. Um, honestly, there is no club in the UK that I've ever visited. Yes, here we go, case in point. What a day, mate, what a day. What an absolute brilliant day, eh? I know, cup final day. It's a legend. Oh no, mate, you're a legend. Thanks. So are the fans of this club, like. <laughs> You'll be on YouTube tomorrow. There you go, I'll make you famous by the morning. <laughs> there you go, hello, <laughs> see you later. Um, case in point right there, I was going to say I don't get a welcome um, like this at any other club I've ever visited. Um, it's absolutely phenomenal, uh, the support that I get from Orkin Leck. And people in the social club were like, oh, thank you for what you do. And the kids love the videos and they come up to you and stuff like that. But my response to that is, I thank all the kids and all the people that watch my videos here at Orkin Lick because um, as much as they were saying I helped them out, it's all down to them watching the videos that they helped me out. Like literally, um, I couldn't do this without the support of um, everybody who watches the videos and um, places like Orkin Lick. I mean, it's just absolutely mental. Yeah, it's just so many like well wishers and um, people wanting to say hello and people wanting a picture and um, people saying great to see me back and stuff like that. Honestly, it's like one massive family, that club. Um, yeah, it's literally like a feeling like no other when you go there. It's absolutely tremendous. If you've never been to Orkin Lek, told but before, next season, you absolutely have to go. This could literally be the longest video I've ever uploaded. I feel like I've been filming for hours. I was actually here at around 10 o'clock in the morning, I think, and it's almost 10 o'clock at night. Um, it's actually quite about nine o'clock just now, but I mean, look how light it is for nine o'clock. Cup final, pitch side access at Kilmarnock. The love and the support of all the um, Orkin and Lech Talbot fans, you really cannot beat it. Please do remember to hit that like button. Please subscribe if you're new. I'll leave some videos on screen. If you can click on to carry on watching that, it'd be amazing. Cheers, and I'll see you in the next one.